Welcome back to the channel. Today we have another doctored up third party auction car from our favorite sellers over in DC. Now, you're probably thinking, Scott, why don't you leave these guys alone? They're just trying to make a couple bucks, you know, the dishonest way. And it's not me this time, guys. Somebody actually sent me an email and said, hey, take a look at this car. So I took a look at it and it happened to be a white Acura and pretty new. So I couldn't resist. I looked at the pictures and yeah, it was definitely one that we need to take a look at. So let's take a look at our car for today. And I do get a lot of these sent to me. I don't look at all of them. Uh, some of them I don't really think are worth showing, uh, but this one was a good one. So if you guys run across one, send it to me and maybe you'll see it on the channel. Um, I lost the email of the person that sent it to me. So if it was you, uh, leave me a comment and I'll pin it to the top so that everybody can give you credit for this video. So let's jump into our car for today. So today's car is a 2023 Acura TLX Type S with performance tire, uh, and it's white, my favorite. So let's take a look at it. It looks like it got a little too close to a center divider, and these wheels do not look right at all. Missing a few parking sensors down here, and I'm not liking that gap at all on the Hood and the bumper. And we got a little more concrete rash over here on this side of the bumper. Our headlights just kind of stuffed in there. It looks like we got a little damage at the top of our fender here. No wheel liner. Uh, we got uh, kind of a rainbow going on here. A couple different colors. Uh, this mirror is supposed to be painted white at the bottom like the other one. I think that. Looks like we're missing a piece of the trim at the top there. And these wheels look like they're just spray painted black. Dent in the quarter there. Our interior looks complete. I don't see any deployed airbags. Definitely missing some parking sensors and it almost looks like the bottom of the radiator support. It's not running. It does say it is a run and drive, so of 21,493 miles on it. Uh, no gas, pretty standard with these sellers. Uh, no ambient temperature, probably because there's no sensor in there. And all the dash emojis. Since we have an airbag light on, I'm thinking maybe we did have some airbag issues at some time, so maybe it just needs a module reset. I don't know. Looks like we got a complete back seat, although there is a little difference in the color from here to here. Hopefully we have an interior 360 picture. There's our VIN. And here's our engine. So we have some broken headlight tabs on each side. So these are eBay specials. Missing an engine cover on the top. Missing a bunch of covers here for the cowl. Missing something up here. Just a random bolt hanging out. It should be holding something. Looks like our radiator support is a different color. Got a fob, but no emergency key. Here's our front end shot. As if those wheels weren't bad enough, they've got some crazy wide tires on it, like this thing's going off roading. They should be much lower profile than that. Looks horrible. Oh, got a nice door gap going on here. A little 
damage on our rocker molding. Missing the top of this molding and it looks like they spray painted this black. So this is probably like a regular TLX door of a technology package or something with a chrome molding and they just spray painted it. Might also be why the door is a different color. This is a pearl white. This is just regular white. And there's definitely some damage on our fender here. There's a better shot of our mileage. And our rear bumper. And we're missing some parking sensors. This thing should have parking sensors. So they just got a cheap bumper for it. That looks like all of our pictures. We don't have a seller down here, so when it's a third party car. Uh, does it run? Yeah, it runs. Don't know that it sounds the best, but I do notice from this picture or video, we have no cooling. No radiator, no condenser, no cooling fans, no hood latch. There's nothing in here. So that's part of the reason I watched these videos for the engine running video is because it shows a different angle. We didn't see it from our front, but we can definitely see it here. We're missing everything up there. Uh, might even, be, yeah, it looks like we're missing our reinforcement. So the bumper cover is just kind of sitting on there. Okay. Well, I know it was definitely hitting the front end before. Let's see if we got some 360s. Here's our interior. I guess that's just a, the center is a different color. I'll let it slide. Uh, we're missing seat belts. Probably why our airbag light is on. We don't have any seat belts at all. Not that they're deployed, they're just not even there. Not the best picture. I don't see any airbags that went off. Definitely both of our seat belts are gone. And these are just all of our pictures that we've already seen. So we're not going to see anything we haven't seen. And since this seller likes to do quite a few cars, I'd be willing to bet this Range Rover back here is one of theirs. They tend to drop them all off at the same time. So all their cars end up in the same area. So we'll have to go look at a Range Rover. All right. Well. Looks like it hit a center divider. What do you think it looked like? Did you think it looked like that? So they paid $10,575 for it. 3 13 of 24. So they put this thing back together pretty quick. So it was a theft recovery. And they stole the suspension off of it. They stole our whole front end and the door. Whoever stole it must have had one that was hit over here. Stole the wheels and tires and a rear bumper. That's why we don't have parking sensors in our other one. It looks like a G8 wheel. Mini spare. Okay, so they stripped the dash out of it and the seats. So they only took the suspension off this side. Our rocker molding was gone. They did take the radiator support, all the cooling. Hood, headlights, 
So all that stuff has been replaced. There's still the cluster. You can get some random parts back here. There's our VIN. It had an engine cover at this time. Well, didn't make it back to the auction. Neither did these panels up here. So well, they put some parts on, it took some parts off, I guess. So yeah, I'm not sure why that is definitely a G8 wheel. Not sure why you would bother fixing this thing. Honestly, it's a parts car. Just because they threw some parts back on it, uh, you have to wonder what they did underneath it. I mean, clearly they just threw the headlights and bumper on it to cover up the fact that there's nothing underneath. So you're still going to have to put a lot of work into this car after they've worked on it. So they did a pretty decent job covering this one up. Kind of left the scrapes in the bumper to make you think it was just bounced off a center divider lately or something. Yep, there's a whole lot more to it. So... I don't know if I'd pay their $10,000. That engine running video didn't sound the best, so I don't know. Let's see what our history report says. Okay, it was stolen. Title says not actual miles, so that's going to be a problem when you go to title a thing on top of everything else this car doesn't have going for it. And that just adds to its issues. So we don't know how much they drove it because they don't have a cluster in the first one. So it's got 21,000 miles on it here. I'm thinking they just got a used cluster and threw it in there. The car probably doesn't have that many miles on it. It wasn't on the road for very long because they would have had to put uh, in three months, 20,000 miles. They were really driving it. So I'm thinking it's Probably closer to the 4,000. It doesn't matter because uh, I wouldn't buy this thing. So what do you think? Would you buy it? I mean, it wasn't in an accident. It was basically just somebody took some parts off and somebody else put some of them back on and probably not the best quality parts. So if you're really looking at it, the way I would figure it is look at your original auction pictures and plan on replacing everything that it needed then. Sure, you might've got some stuff, but you know, just to be safe, figure on replacing everything. Would I fix it? Probably not. It's a parts car, but honestly, there are much better parts cars out there than what this one is. So I think I'm just going to sit this one out, but by all means, if you hate your money and you want a project to pick up for yourself, this would be a good one for you. Uh, everybody else, eh, you might want to run away. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Before you go, I have an update on a couple other cars that we looked at a couple weeks ago. Now, first off is that Porsche 911. If $235,000 was a little too rich for your blood, like it was mine, uh, I got some good news for you. It's dropped a little bit in price. So now they're down to $220,000. If they keep dropping $5,000 a week, I'll have me a Porsche in 40 weeks. So this one, since they're dropping that price, they're just looking to get rid of it. They're not looking to scam anybody. This one, I don't mind these kind of sellers. They're just looking to unload a car that they maybe kind of screwed up and paid a little too much for and didn't have a market for it. Uh, on the other hand, that 2020 Silverado HD that got hit by a, well, what looked to be a train, but it was probably another vehicle. Uh, they're still holding firm at their 30 grand. Nobody's bid on it yet. Let's see uh, what they've been selling it for. Oh, hey, look at that. I guess they should have taken that 24,000 they first got for it which was probably them running the price up because otherwise they would have taken it. Uh, Cause the next week they got 3,175, uh, 4,075. Ooh, big week here, 5,725. And then $125, less than scrap value. Good luck getting your 30 grand if that's as close as you're getting. So hopefully they lose out and they're stuck with this thing for a while. So I did just kind of notice something I skip over these pretty quick because I know I'm not interested in buying it. I'm just giving you an overview. But I did notice the stock number changed. So when they got their 24 grand this week, I um, clicked on a different one. That's why it doesn't show the price. Um, and it had mileage. This is when they actually purchased it. So 
Let's take a look at what it looks like when they bought it. We have a pinstripe, so that was added after the accident, but before these doctors had their hands on it. Our suspension's a little wonky over there, and we got some damage on this fender. It does look like it's been replaced, so I'm not sure if that's a piece of the bumper. And the bumper is not quite as straight as it is in the newest pictures. Our bedside still has damage on it. It hasn't been bondoed up by a two-year-old. And our door is still pushed out a lot more. And we have a sticker on our rear bumper. See that our cowl must be shifted over. That brake pedal is sideways and looks like it might be partially depressed. We do have mileage on this one, and it does run. In our back seat. There's our sticker. There's the bin. Uh, we had an overflow bottle at this time. We had a fan shroud. The air intake was still disconnected, and it looks like we have some batteries in here. So this was already after it had been doctored up the first time. So our doctors bought a doctored up vehicle. Now, did they pull the engine and trans out of it if it was still good? I don't know. But it looks like they are a victim of sellers just like them. So there is justice in the world. Let's hope they're stuck with it. I'll keep updating you if it's still in here. Thanks for watching. See you soon.